All right, we're looking at the Eero screens from both Android. Android B on the right, iOS on the left. Now, first of all, this screen program that I'm using called Reflector, I don't know why it's blowing out the Android screen, but the Android screen on the right does not, it's not scaling well. And on the left, the iOS looks good, but um, so it does not look like that. It looks really nice on the Android screen, so don't worry about that whatsoever. So I don't know what's going on there, but I wanted to go through the uh, app. The Eero app updated is on Android on the right. The old one is on the left. So you can clearly see how it's grouped differently starting at the top. To get the speed test on the old app, you'd have to pull down and refresh. The speed test on the Android app is right here at the bottom. So you have a button to run that. So you're not accidentally going to hit that. So that is a good thing. I don't think see anything tappable in here except understanding your speed, which, um, I mean, I can show that to you again, but it's just telling you what's fast and what's not fast. You know what's fast, right? Okay, we'll go back to the main screen. Let's start with the hamburger, the big menu. My network gets you to the home screen. Back in here, guest access turns on the uh, guest SSID. So you can turn that on here, enable, everything looks the same. There's nothing different here. But notice what's different. When I hit the hamburger to go back, it pops up the menu again. It, over here on the new one, it jumps you right back to the home. So that's different. Family profiles, everything's the same. Everything's the same. No difference. I don't really use family profiles. Uh, network settings, we have to go back. Network settings. So, there is my external IP address for all to see. Please don't use it. I'm going to blur that out, I hope. I if I can figure that out. Advanced settings. So, DNS, everything's the same in here, guys. Everything is the exact same. I Should I go in DHCP and that? If you want to see that, it is the same. You can start your uh, IP address. You have to set up go through here and change it if you want to change it. I believe it starts at a 10.10. .10. Notice that pause on the Android app. I don't know what that's about, but that's I've seen that kind of flash. Um, network settings. Pretty much done. What you don't see here, you have a new one over here on the new app, Add Eero. They give you an extra Add Eero. Help account switch network. Account is your personal things. Switch network is if you have two of these, like you have two homes or something. Let's go to my network and my network. Now, Eros have on the bottom here on the old app, and you have an unmovable. I am actually tapping right now, trying to move around in the four Eros here, but you can tap right there and get into it. So you get an add Eero here, and you, but the add Eero on the old app is right here on the bottom so you can see that so here you can get all the information you want to on let's go to family room your own you get all the details you want on the device itself notice it's wired it is the primary Eero or called gateway on the uh, on the new app and that also has information on it so you can tap that maybe connection details yeah, I'm pretty pretty normal stuff right there. The the little symbol out here to the right of wired is the wired symbol. Where it's located, you can change that. LED light on, which is a great thing to be able to turn off. And details gives you all the MAC address information for that specific Eero. So, how do you like them grouped? On the bottom, one tap information, bam. Here, one tap information, bam. But to manage all of the arrows and add an arrow, you have to look right here. I kind of like this screen right here. I can see all my wired and all my wireless arrows, like this master bedroom, is wireless. The wireless detail right here, and the light is off. You totally want that light off in a bedroom. So I, I like having that. I like the new app and how it has done that. 
All right, number of devices. You can see it's a lot different. On the left is the old app number of devices 30. And over here on Android, it's it's just up here. There's nothing really, I don't know. You got to do something different there, guys. You got to do something different. But what they're doing is they're giving you recently connected. I got this Shenzhen something, some Chinese MAC address here, a camera, and a media center PC. So that's stuff that is active. And let's just go back into connected devices. You can see the connected devices. You can see uh, this Canon printer at the top. It's wired in. And all these other ones are wireless. And you can see the exact bars that they are getting right now. Let's go to let's go to our Zhang. Doesn't look on the new app. It doesn't look like you can get into it because there's no carrot saying there's more info. Over here there is. So it's connected to Master Bedroom Euro. I have no idea what this is. I better figure out what this is. One thing you can do is uh, is look at the MAC address on uh, in Google or something. 2.4 gigahertz as well. And it gives you the strength. Connection to Master Bedroom Eero is really neat. Now, what I wish they would do, when you go to devices, uh, connected devices, I wish you could see. Actually, no, I take that back. When you go to the specific Eero, it would be cool if there was a list of devices connected to it. Just real quick, you could get that information right here at the bottom connected devices with the little carrot and you could go over and turn that on again in the new app there's it's if it's tappable it's blue right like ip address i can't i can't tap but if i tap on led status i can turn that on or off so i guess i, I like the little carrot in the old app carrot i mean the, the little piping to uh you know, that, that little thing that shoots over to give you... I, sorry, I got distracted here. Look, Xbox One is recently on the network, and it's given me the uh, the controller for it. That's pretty neat. I have not seen that before. So, really cool. Slick. Leave me your comments in the um, in the, the comment section below, and if I, have it, if, if I can answer anything, I, I certainly will. I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the iOS portion. So I'm going to show you here, where is my, here it is, available updates, right here. Brand new dashboard. Design with a simple overview of your network. Quickly see the status of your network. More information about, it. more, 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 more. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.